Hi, I'm Jim Galbraith with Macworld, and we're here today to look at the brand new MacBook Airs. Externally, these MacBook Airs look the same as last year's, but under the hood, there's some key differences. They're all using the new Intel Haswell processors. They're all using the same speed, uh, 1.3 gigahertz core i5. This is the fourth generation core processor from Intel. Also new are the integrated graphics. They're using the Intel HD 5000 graphics. Previously, they used the 4000. The Haswell processors in these new MacBook Airs are running at a slower clock speed than last year's MacBook Airs. What that turns into is some decrease in processor intensive application performance. We've seen eight of the 15 tests we ran were a little bit slower on the brand new 13 inch MacBook Air as compared to 2012's model. The biggest performance differences we're seeing between the new MacBook Airs and the previous generation are in graphics and in flash storage. We're seeing 30% faster frame rates in Cinebench's OpenGL tests and about 28% faster file copies. Having faster flash storage will benefit many things you do with your computer, from startup to file copies. We've seen startup times decrease with the new flash storage from 17, 18 seconds to about 14 now. We haven't finished our battery test yet, but Apple's claiming between nine hours of battery life for the 11 inch and 12 hours of battery life for the 13 inch. Previously, we saw around five hours, so that's quite an improvement. So what you end up with is a little bit slower processor performance, faster flash storage, longer battery life, and more storage capacity, all for about the same amount of money. Overall, the new MacBook Air is a trade-off. For the complete review, check out macworld.com.